Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. I'm here at Universal Studios Hollywood, just in time for the 60th anniversary, but all really to check up on the Fast and Furious project and all these cool 60th, 60th anniversary decorations. So let's go ahead and check them out right now. Now you can see they um, decorated the banners here with iconic moments of the studio tour from Parting of the Red Sea to King Kong. Six, it was this looks like the Six Points Texas area, the old Universal City Studio sign. There's other iconic images here. Some of them are the same, some are different, like this one. Of course, you got the big guy right here. Look at that. Well, Super Nintendo World Bunting is off, and now the 60th anniversary Bunting is on. And look at that. that glam looks tram chilling, as well as some more images and nice banners on top of the entrance there. I love this, this diamond celebration here. Nice blue and inside we're going to check out some merchandise from the Studio Tour 60th anniversary including the awesome popcorn bucket right there which I'm actually going to purchase today. As a reminder the 60th anniversary starts April 26th in just a couple of weeks and ends August 11th. This city snack shop has been transformed to a glamour tram for the 60th anniversary this summer. Um, they even have nice little red and white shades right there. Find all the snacks that we teased in the preview event or the um, press release are on sale right now. Let's go take a look. Here's that 60th anniversary donut which I might want to try out as well. You got massive pretzel, the 60th anniversary pretzel, as well as the cookies. I like the little glamour sham cookie. I might have to try out this one and the what well, looks to be maybe a chocolate cookie. With a film roll right here. Looks fantastic. I might have to try one of those. Maybe I'll do a video, a little, little taste review or a little food review video, but a treat review. If I try all these treats, maybe on the 27th when I come with some friends and my fiance because I can't eat all this by myself. But uh, this looks very good. And then this looks good. This looks good. And even those look pretty decent as well. Oh, actually looks really good. I cannot wait. But I gotta eat some dinner first before I go. I'm here for the team member preview. Sorry, the past member preview for the studio tour, so I am gonna eat some dinner before I go on that, but this ooh looks so good. And again, those treats in the celebration will be going until August 11th. It officially starts on August 20 or April 26th, but there's been there's the team member preview which I went to on Monday, and then there's the cast member preview, sorry, pass holder preview, so many names. Pass holder preview starting today, going through the 23rd. Um, you gotta make your RSVP online. It's probably closed by now, but I got mine for 5:30 today, so I'll be doing a full POV of that. Um, very exciting stuff. It's really, really fun. You guys are gonna love getting off the tour. It's uh, going to Prop Plaza, and there's some special surprises along the way as well. The walls have appeared for the Halloween Horror Nights house coming to the Parisian courtyard. Walls have appeared, but no tent yet. I'm sure they're just making a layout and I'm sure the tent will be erected next week because these walls just appear. These well, They were here on Monday, but they weren't here last week, so I'm sure the tent will be here next week as well. Another cool thing is that says 60th anniversary in French right there, so that's very nice and has it again. The 60th anniversary platinum colors, which is super cool. The Moulin Rouge is back open. It is still for VIP. It's not open to all guests, but it's still open and there's some walls over here probably working on just the patio, outdoor patio, but yeah, Moulin Rouge is back open for the VIP ticket holders. Looking at the Fast and Furious coaster, or chugging along. This coaster, I want to give you an update, will open in 2026, not 2025, but 2026, uh, early 2026, with previews happening in late 2025, that is the latest update there. I um, wanted to give you that. Heavy rain has caused uh, some delays on this project, and as you know, if you watch this video, these videos often, it's been raining every single weekend. Every single time I'm here, it seems like it's raining. It's like the one time it's sunny, so I understand the delays. But yeah, a lot of equipment, a lot of work, no matter what. Uh, they're chugging along and hey, maybe they can make up some time and open up in, in late 2025. But yeah, a lot of work happening and still no more track But uh, besides this section. But they are working on tons of supports, which we'll get to right now. Tons of supports. Um, <laughs> Foundations for support, sorry. Moving on to this main section, which could be a launch section here, or at least a flat, straight section. I, I'm thinking it's like a boost or a launch, because yeah, you can tell by the, the 
even space supports to be a nice flat piece of track there um looks fantastic i feel like i'll be seeing supports in this section coming up soon i don't know if it'll be like next week but i feel like certainly in the next couple of weeks we'll see that because again installation of equipment track and supports have uh is on the community line website for the uh, no construction notice this week or this month so i feel like they'll be installing at least one or two supports uh this month because they said they will on the website so very curious but they did they i mean they got these they were these were just holes like a couple weeks ago now they're full of concrete so they're moving quite quite quick and as you can see over here they're putting that what i can only assume to be as a retaining wall could be something else but they're putting more piles in for the potential retaining wall over there which is makes sense to have a retaining wall next to the launch because this would be a loud section of the coaster with a lot of people screaming and the launch mechanism itself could be a little bit loud so having a massive retaining wall right there going the length of the launch or boost will be uh you know smart to keep those screams again towards the studio towards the theme park which is this way instead of the studio neighbors which are that way which is why the wall is over there instead of over here all right shout out to brandon brandon who uh just ran into on the way i actually ran into a lot of people ran into the uh, dustin from theme park shark dylan theme park obsession and the attraction 360 crew all on the way down from the upper lot to the lower lot here um but yeah shout out to brandon we were talking all along this segment so he's super super cool go check him out he tweets a lot but let's get to the supports these three supports up here we're holding the glass structure that'll be no, the glass screen shield right there uh no concrete yet but the rebar has been filled concrete has been put on these smaller supports which will be holding the inversion as down the escalators that's cool and they have these are these oh these are wood i don't know why these wood things are here but curious very curious but yes uh these are all done and i've again i feel like supports will be coming to that last section that we looked at or this section within the next certainly within the next couple of weeks i presume all right, from down here, you can hear them working hard, actually, up there. But here's another look at those um, supports for the or the steel wings for those retaining walls, what I think are the retaining walls on this side. Not too much happening down here in terms of work. All the work continues to be working up right there. Here's a look at the launch coming out of the station and the supports still supporting over there. And they still have to finish this wall. They have to make this a concrete wall. They put it, they stopped it there. And they still haven't finished over here, but there are some more rebar support pop rebar popping up over there. Looking at the Halloween Horn Nights, amazed by the mummy. Got the facade moving up right over there. Uh, not sure what this is gonna be, but uh, there's spec maps online. I don't know. The, the lineup that's here seems kind of weak. I don't know. Oh, sorry. The rumored lineup seems kind of weak. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below because uh, it seems kind of eh. Some people say this is where Ghostbusters, the Ghostbusters is going to go though. Um, we'll have to see. And this Halloween Horror Nights maze right over here starting construction. Um, right over here. Boop, boop. And not sure that's going to be either but it is gone vertical. Rockwork has appeared on the locker project here. This should open up in May I was told. So that is pretty nice nice to finally have the scaffolds down and like i said just in time for the summer season the busy locker area will be transformed and it will um eat a lot of ease a lot of crowd uh, congestion in there you can see walls have extended to this area here's the front side still a lot of scaffolding right over here but again this should be unveiled with rock work in the coming days and be open next month all right now i have uh, a little bit of a time crunch here my pass from preview starts at 5.30. It is currently 5.22. <laughs> but the guy, team members said I have until 6 p.m. to be there. There's already a long line. So, let me go ahead, eat the three broomsticks, go ahead and get in line for the pass member preview. I'm going to do a lot of shorts, YouTube shorts for the 60th anniversary surprises. And maybe film, and film some POVs of the 60th anniversary studio tour. Uh, I filmed, I did a live stream of it. You can check that out, but I'll film a more organized hd 4k pov on my camera i have in my backpack here as well as certain segments like the earthquake segment i'll cut those out and make them their own povs 
stuff like that. So look for that over the, over the coming days. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and eat, take the tour, and then I will do an outro. There's some stuff I wanna show you in City Walk. So yeah, I'll be doing my outro from out there. My phone shouldn't die like it did last time um, because I'm more prepared this time. So I will see you in a couple hours. And just like that, we finished the studio tour of that POV and separate POVs of the experience up of the next few days. So please subscribe for that. As always, have a fantastic day and be sure to check out all the social media pages as well. Become a member on Patreon to support the channel. All the links are down below. As always, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.